When you want to get the ultimate sweetness out of tomato, I love to slow cook them in really good quality extra virgin olive oil. This is a fantastic garnish for any type of meat or fish. First of all, get your hands on some really nice ripe tomatoes just like this. And in a pot, appropriately, I've chosen a red pot for my red tomatoes, I'm going to add two cups. So it seems like a lot of olive oil, but I like to use this olive oil. Don't throw it away. Use it for different vinaigrettes. We're actually going to be flavouring this olive oil with some chilli, some garlic, lemon, even honey. So it's a really great flavoured olive oil that you'll get out of this. So nothing is wasted. Now let's add the aromat. So I've got a bay leaf that goes in, one big clove of garlic, which I'll just bruise and into the oil and just half a chilli for this. You don't want it to be too fiery and these long ones aren't as hot. And one piece of lemon peel and a touch of honey. This honey is such a great addition to these comfy or slow cooked tomatoes. So in with the honey. Now we need to put this on a low heat. This oil must not boil because as soon as the oil boils, it'll lose some of its beautiful peppery and grassy characteristics. So we just want it on a very low heat. So I'm gonna put it on the lowest burner here. We'll put it on the lowest heat we can possibly get. And we just want little tiny bubbles to slowly cook the tomatoes. Now we've got some cherry tomatoes here. If you wanted to do it with whole tomatoes, just have to cut them in half. This is actually better with whole tomatoes like this because they look so beautiful after they've been cooked slowly. So they can go in, give them a good wash and a dry before you put them in and make sure that they're all submerged in that oil. We'll add a pinch of salt now. Now I'll we'll place the lid on and I'm going to keep an eye on those tomatoes and I'll give them a stir halfway through. So this is gonna cook all up for about 15 minutes or until they just start to blister. And like I said, you can serve this with so many different things. Even in a salad, it's fantastic. Today, I'm just gonna serve it really simply with a little bit of basil and some goat's cheese. This has been about 15 minutes and already they've changed. Some of them have shriveled up a little bit, the skin's there, but they're still holding their shape. If this oil was too hot, then they would collapse everywhere. I want to hold that shape for presentation reasons and the smell. I can smell the garlic and the chilli and the bay leaf. I love this. By all means, you can change it up if you want to put a little bit of thyme in there. Fantastic. Rosemary also works really nicely with the tomatoes. Now, these are ready to serve. So I like to get a beautiful bowl like this and we'll just scoop out some of the tomatoes. You know what? Even on a piece of crusty bread. This is fantastic, but I really just wanted to show off the celebration of these tomatoes and how good they look. They are good enough to eat as is. And a few more on there. And then with a little bit of goat's cheese, we'll sprinkle that on top there. And like I said, just a touch of basil. Doesn't even need it. And don't forget that beautiful warm olive oil, a touch on the top there because it tastes so good. That in itself, if you get a few big punnets of tomatoes and do that as a side with a big piece of fish or a roast chicken or pork, mwah, beautiful. Love that, give that a try. Slow cooked tomatoes, they taste so sweet.